Okay, here I am at Lowe's, and I wanted to show you this because I'm, I don't feel like lifting this up when I'm about to do the intro to the video about water filters. I didn't have these things at home. Um, these are things that anyone can have. I just don't currently have any sand. I use it up in the winter time for icy surfaces. What I bought <clears throat> was I bought a four pack of aerators. Okay, now you can use the aerators in your in any faucet, like your kitchen faucet or your bathroom faucet. I didn't feel like taking them out, so I just bought these. Um, these pea stones are something you can use for mulch, and after I'm done with the current video, I intend to use these for that purpose. And then I've got some all-purpose sand that I'm gonna use a bag of that, because I don't know if I have any at home, but these are common everyday items that people will have around their house. I just don't feel like lifting them up in the intro to the video I'm about to do. Now for the charcoal to filter out the chemicals, I had this Royal Oak 100% all natural hardwood lump charcoal that I use in my Weber grill. I bought this from Walmart and this comes in big chunks and I'll show you. I'm going to grind that up a little bit so it's a little bit smaller chunks and I'll show you what it all looks like. Okay, now the fine stuff for that charcoal is probably at the bottom of the bag, but I didn't feel like digging for it. So I've got this stuff. These, those chunks in that bag can be huge. That's way too big for a filter. But I just wanted to show you. Chunks can be a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to pull this out. And hopefully I can crush it up. I've got the end of a hammer. Come in household hammer. And I'm going to try to chunk that up a little bit. I'm going to use my sunglasses while I'm doing this. Safety glasses might not be a bad idea that you don't get fragments in your eye, but let's see how this works. I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, hopefully you can see that. There's what it looks like after I've chunked it up a little bit. A piece of grass in there. I'm not going to cut it up or chunk it up too small into a powder because I don't think I have the filter to hold that in place. But I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit at a time. Um, I'll start putting the filter together. Okay, so I have my two liter bottle. I've already drilled, hopefully you can see that, the cap here. So I'm going to cut the end off of this bottle. And to do that, I'm going to use my trusty Leatherman. Just here, I just want the end. Okay, so this little aerator is actually taped together which is kind of nice that means I don't have to take it all apart I'm going to take the tape off and hopefully that whole mess will fit in inside this little cap to keep the charcoal from flowing through the cap and out we'll see how that works okay and here we are this little cap is a little too small for the cap this little excuse me aerator is a little too small for this two liter bottle cap which means I should have kept those holes towards the very center. See, it kind of just fits in there. If you want a tight seal, you can put that around there. But all I really want is something to filter, filter the charcoal out of the drinking water. So I'm going to go like this. Actually, maybe that, maybe that's the right size, actually. Let me see here. Fits in there fairly tightly. Why don't you screw that onto the plastic bottle? So I'm going to start filling that. So I've already got my crushed up charcoal here, some of it. I tend to put more. So I just dump that in there. Let's see if you can see this. It's up to about there. I'm going to crush up some more and I'm going to put it in there. Next step, I'm going to put in some of my pea gravel because after that, I'm going to put in sand and I don't want the sand mixing with my. Um, Charcoal. The charcoal is up to about here, so a couple, a couple inches. I'm just going to loosely put that in there, try to cover everything. That actually works as a stage of the filter, but by, <clears throat> excuse me, by the time the water gets to that stage, it should already be pretty filtered. Next, I'm going to put my sand on top of that. Okay, so I didn't like that first iteration. It flowed too slow. And I think one of the reasons is because in this aerator I bought, it's got a little teeny hole. So 
So I've taken that part apart and I'm just using the screen part of it, which is what I wanted in the first place. So I'm going to use that. It's going to speed things up. So one tip is to always wash your sand and your stones first. I'm going to use that charcoal and I'm going to use that sand because it's already been washed a little bit. So I'll get back to you. And I also have decided I, I have to have a holder because I can't stand there and hold that all day. Okay, so there we have it. There's just the screen part in that cap. Okay, to make my holder, I have a few of uh, my non non electricity intense uh, devices. Um, got this guy charged by solar. My cordless drill that I'm going to use this one to power. I've got my my hand saw, and I've got a little one by that I'm going to use to make a holder out of. Okay, I just wanted to show you this. This battery went dead a long time ago. I bought this Ryobi cordless drill a long time ago. So I took the battery, I took the guts out of it, the NICAD, and I attached this cord in here to these um, terminals. And I'm going to plug this part into my power pack that's charged via solar power. Okay, I wanted to show you, here's the quick fixture I made to hold this filter. Um, I just had this wood laying around, this is just a one by. Um, if you're going to make this more permanent, you'd want to do a much better job of course, and definitely shore this section up. But hopefully that'll hold that filter. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it now and we'll see if it works. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put sand back in there. Now this time I washed the sand, it was really dirty. I almost got play sand in the first place, but I just decided to go with this. Um, so it's in water right now. I'm just going to pull it out of there. Hopefully I'll get any little bits and pieces of crud that were in there. I'll leave them behind in the water. I think I'm going to do this filter a little differently. Maybe put some more stones in. Water's working well. Hopefully it works well once there's water in there. Okay, here we go. I'm going to fill the rest up with stones for the rest of the area I want to use. I have to wash the stones off this time. That acts as another stage of the filter. Keeps the sand also from flowing up in there. Filters the big particles. And again, these things I bought them, I have a use for them. I'm going to use them somewhere around the house. I have a use in mind. So I'm going to run a few pots of water through there and then I'm going to get my water from it and we'll see. I'm going to boil it afterwards like you would in the field just to make sure there's no bacteria or anything in it like you should do and we'll see what it looks like. Okay like I said I'm going to run some water through there so I got my top pan and I got the bottom one just so I can see what it looks like when it comes out of there. I'm going to run a whole one of these in maybe two until I get nice clear water. Okay I've started my second pan of water. Hopefully it's filtering it this time. So we've got the first stage, my rocks, then the sand, then more rocks, then charcoal. And it's flowing pretty good out of that bottom. I recommend um, with a low pressure filter like this that you use more larger chunks of charcoal, maybe more of it, less dust, because it'll clog up the, the screen in the filter down, or the screen out device, the silt <laughs> device at the bottom with its dust, so I recommend bigger chunks. But it's not going right through there, so I don't think I have any leaks around the edge, which is what I was afraid of. I was afraid of water just kind of bypassing all this and getting to the edge, but I think with the weight it's, it's nice and tight and sealed. It seems to be filtering well. Now what I had to do is I had to loosen this cap to get all the crap out of there, and then I put that cap back on there loosely. It looks like I got a pretty good flow out of the end of the cap. I don't see water coming around here. I see it coming out here, which is where I want it. So the pan is much better. The water coming out. It's still, I can still see charcoal dust and it's still a little silty. But I'm going to run this for a little while and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I've run it through a couple times. So this is my water that I'm going to drink. So I've got my, my pan here and my pan underneath. 
So I'm going to try not to pour this water here into my pan below. Okay, it's not as clean as I'd like. As a matter of fact, I had it cleaner at other times, but I found a few. Sometimes the cap gets clogged up and you unscrew it and screw it back in. And what you'll get is you'll get a stream of carbon or charcoal dust for a little while, and then it'll clean out. So once you get the filter where you want it, you don't want to mess with it. You want to keep it wet. You don't want to let it dry out. Anyway, this is not as clean as I'd like it, but I'm going to boil it like I said I would. For about 10 minutes once it starts to boil now anybody that's watched my videos knows that i boiled water using wood using my 16 brick rocket stove using my penny stoves using my coleman stove my dragonfly stove so i don't feel the need to go and get one of those out to boil the water i'm just going to use my electric stove i'm going to boil it for 10 minutes then i'm going to make tea and i'm going to pour glass and drink it and we'll see how it tastes Okay, it's boiled for about eight minutes. This is my tea water. Hope I don't spill it on myself. This is my drinking water. This is just for flavor. Now, as I said, this is just tap water, but it's going to be a good test of the filter to see if it, see if the water still tastes like chlorine. If it doesn't taste like chlorine, I know that charcoal in there did its job. So I don't know a better test at this point to see if the charcoal is actually working. Next test I do, I'm going to put murky, silty water in there and see if that filters out and see if I can drink and boil and drink that. But this is the first step and uh, we'll see if the filter works. Okay, I've added a little cream to that tea. Hopefully that'll cool down a little and I'll try it. This will be test one. Tastes just like regular water. I can't taste any chlorine. So I have to wait for this batch to cool down so I can taste this. See if I taste any chlorine in the water. This will be test one of the filter. Okay, it seems this water's cooled down far enough for me to sip it. So let's taste it and see if it tastes any chlorine or if I taste any chlorine. I taste no chlorine whatsoever. Um, the water has a neutral smell. Now with the boiling, the only thing I was boiling out in this round was any bacteria or viruses that I picked up from either the sand or the stones. Um, test two, when I do that, it's going to be putting murky like pond water or something in there, see if that filters out. But so far the charcoal that I used um, for my Weber grill seems to, once you crush it up, it works well. It's charcoal to filter out any chlorine taste. So phase one of the filter test is a success. Okay, I don't feel like waiting all night for these waters to become the same temperature, but the first one is the water I filtered. The second one is tap water, so I want Joe to smell it and then take a drink of it. And then smell this and take a drink of it, see if she agrees with me that um, my filter actually took the chlorine out of the water. So Joe, if you'll try the first one, it's a little warm. Does it smell like chlorine? Now let me see that for a minute before you take a drink. Smell this one. This is the tap. Like okay, so the tap one does smell like chlorine, the one I filtered does not. Would you agree? Yes. Okay, now taste the filtered one. Be honest, what's it taste like? I'm not really quite sure. Okay, so does it taste funny? Just answer the question. It doesn't taste completely filtered. Okay, all right. Does it taste like chlorine? Maybe a little. Okay. Compared to this is... Hold on, hold on a minute. Let's do the experiment. Here's the tap. It 
definitely tastes more chlorine than that. So this, the tap tastes more chlorine than the filter water, but this t still tastes a little chlorine, right? That or something else. Yeah, I can smell it. I can taste a little something and it tastes kind of a little off, but not really bad, right? It also doesn't look as clear as the other one. I'm right, sure this one has more silt in it. This, this has got some dust oh. from the charcoal, I know. 